This is a quick video tutorial on how to upgrade Drupal to the latest version. Okay, so I've got a local site running here, and if we go to status report, since this is local, it can't tell what the latest version is, but you can see here that the latest version, uh, that well, this is running 6.12, so we'll go check drupal.org, and the latest version is 6.13. So we want to upgrade this. Um, I hope you can see that. Let me zoom in. So latest is 6.13, and if we go back here, we're running 6.12. Okay, so we want to upgrade this. Now I've got this running on a local, on uh, well, it's a server that's local on my network here, so I can either go in X and just go into this directory, or let's do it like we're talking to a web server. So I'm just going to go SSH to that. Okay, so, and that's going to be, so this is just like I'm getting to my web directory. Um, okay, so, and I've got this under SVN, so I'm going to go into trunk, but basically this would be like going into your public HTML directory, and so I do have a public HTML, so I'm going to, um, well, from outside my public HTML directory, I want to make a backup real quick. So I'm going to type in tar, um, c for create, v for verbose, f for file system, and z because I want it to zip it. Okay, so tar cvfz, and I'm going to call this public underscore HTML, and I'm going to call that back and just put the date. Um, so 2009, 07, one, two, and dot tgz for compressed tar backup. So basically what I'm going to do here is just, um, this is going to make a backup of everything that's in the public HTML directory. So I'm going to do that real quick, and so public HTML, oh, should finish. Okay, so let's just take a look at the string real quick, and I'll zoom in here. So we've got tar, and I'll put this in the show notes too, but tar cvfz public HTML back, the date.tgz, and then the thing we want to back up. And so that's just going to make a tar file for us. So we'll hit enter here. And you can see that scrolling through, backing up everything. So um, this is just backing up all our files so that we can revert back to our current version if, if something goes wrong. And I've been very, very lucky working with Drupal. Um, Working with Drupal, I've, I've never really had anything go horribly wrong, but just in case it does, we would also need to back up our database, because after we run the upgrade.php script, it is going to probably make changes to our database. So, let's just do an ls, so we can see we've got our backup there, and we could go tar tvfz if we wanted to look at what's in it. And that's just going to print out the contents, so we don't really need to see that, but anyway, it's important that, you know, um, X is to extract, T is to just look at the table of contents, and C is to create, so um, that allows us to look at what's in the tar before we actually extract it, because the path that's in the tar right here is actually very important. So if I extract this from here, it's going to go into the public HTML directory, which is which is really important. Um, so to to put this back to normal, I'd ha all I'd have to do is tar xvfz and the name of the tar file, and it's going to put it all right back where I want it, which is in the public HTML directory. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is back up our database. Um, to do that, we can just go mysql, uh, mysql dump, and then go dash, da, uh, you know, hash hash quick. So mysql dump hyphen hyphen quick, and then we need the username. I'm running all my databases on this, just under a root user. Um, I could also uh, use the actual user, but then I'd have to go look up the password. So root slash p for the password, the name of the database, which I believe this is cast underscore d6, I believe. We'll find out soon enough. So mysql dump dash quick, or uh, hyphen hyphen quick hyphen u. Um, and then username, and then P, which means we want it to ask us for a password, and then the name of the database. And then we're going to pipe that to gzip, and then we're going to pipe that out to a file, and we'll just call this uh, um, olicast 
underscore d6 underscore and we'll do sql dot oh let's go ahead and put the date on this too um 2007 um 12 dot sql dot gz and so that's basically it for that let me zoom in again i'll put this in the show notes so mysql dump quick uh dash u the username dash p um, the name of the database and then piping that to gzip and then piping that out to a file okay so we're going to press go on this and it's going to ask me for a password okay there we there we go so now if we go ls we've also got a um, gzip there which is our sql so we've got the database backed up we've got all of our public html backed up and we're ready to um Upgrade. So I'm going to go to, I'm just going to cd to public HTML here. And I'm going to download the zip file right here. So I'm going to go to the Drupal site. And so the, all of this works, if you've got SSH access to your server, all this works on your server. We're going to go to drupal.org, and I'm just going to right click and copy the link location here. And then go back to my public HTML directory, which is where I'm at right now. Um, and I'm just going to do a wget and paste in the location to the latest gzip. So that's downloading Drupal. Now, we just have to be careful here because Drupal's going to put that under our Drupal 6. And you can see I've got my old 612 here too. So let's do a tar and peek at this real quick. Tar T V F Z, and let's do the Drupal 6.13. Okay, and so this is going to list out the contents. Um, and so see here how this is in Drupal 6.1.3, and we're already inside our public HTML directory. So basically, we just want to get rid of that first folder. So here's how we do that. We just go tar, we're extracting, so x, vfz, our Drupal 6.1.3, okay. Then all we have to do is say dash, dash strip, dash components equals one and that's it that's going to remove that first directory there so now that extracts everything right into the directory we were in so see we don't have a Drupal 613 directory here so basically that just upgraded everything for us now we just need to go run the update PHP script so I'm gonna just do that real quick update.php and since this is local, I don't need to put it in maintenance mode. And let's just see what it's going to update here. So it's going to update the system module, and that's it. Update. We're done. Let's go back to our administration pages. Look like that, like that just made one minor SQL change there. Okay, so now we're running 613 and go back to our home page and everything's working great. Um, I will post all those commands in the show notes, but uh, hopefully, hopefully that helps you upgrade your Drupal a lot faster just using basic Linux commands. Thanks for watching.